Welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I have loaded my trailer. Uh, I've been dabbling with, as the as you get to the thinner ends of the trees, how long of a cut can we do? I think I've got some six metre ones, I've maybe got some sevens, but they are the thinner ends, obviously. So what I've done is put the longer lengths on the rear trailer, because it just made more sense. And anywhere I had gaps, I've put some shorter, smaller ones in. And then the thicker ends, which were shorter cuts, um, I've put on and obviously again I mean it's absolutely packed but we are going to be doing loads of loads I mean absolutely loads of these I don't know what we're going to get for this and I can't remember how many trees are cut down for this particular load might have been five I'm trying to think how many it was uh, we'll see what we get for this and I'll just keep chugging away I have found a skid steel loader for 25 grand that we could use potentially I don't know whether I'm, I might keep the straps on. Let's see, I'm hoping it's a nice chunk of change. Come on. Oh, man! Still, better than it was. Another nine grand will take us up over 20. Great thing with this as well. I mean, I don't know how far I can push this. I wonder whether we can build up a bit of a land train. I don't know how much oomph this is going to have the pickup it's working brilliantly so far but if I bought another one of these again for 3,800 and hook it onto the back of that double my capacity as well as the pickup bed mm, yeah we could do couldn't we I say we so I don't know what to do first I don't have to get to 25 grand and then get the skid steer loader and there's the lizard one looks like the bobcat that came out recently which is only 25 grand. So I might get that. Again, I'm not sure whether that's got... Um, let's have a quick check. That's become available. Let's just put it that way. Uh, yeah, 25 grand. 74 horsepower. Not to be sniffed at. Does it have a rear trailer hitch? No. no. Again, I'm just worried about weight. So I know some of these, it's the, uh, again, the Black Sheep Modding one, isn't it? The little Massey Ferguson one. Skid still odor. Comes with a rear weight that you can add on to it and that kind of thing. So, it might work. <laughs> the only problem with skid still odors is whether or not you've got the reach for the trailers. Which again, could be a problem. The answer to that, because I've got my own plot of land, maybe we could put in a ramp, we could build a ramp, maybe we could shovel some dirt into a pile that way the skid steer loader could just go up the ramp and put into or onto trailers i will put in whatever time it needs whatever however long it takes to get the money we need for the next piece of equipment and so on and so forth i'm thinking another one of these trailers next i'll fill them both up and see whether or not the pickup can pull them once we get put i'm not quite sure why i keep following the road we can probably just cut straight across coming um yeah and we'll see if the pickup struggles if it doesn't struggle then i'll stay with the two trailer setup again saves me going back with some forwards too often i'll just spend a bit of time loading the trailers up and then if we can pay for something to lift longer logs then we haven't got to do as many cuts and you know yeah we'll get there As the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed, I don't have a full load. I've made a decision. 
it was inevitable, I think. I think it was inevitable. Um, that, in all honesty, to start off with, hang on, uh, that's all I want. Yeah, to start off with, it's not necessarily about bringing wood to the sawmill, it's not necessarily about getting enough lumber in here so that if I buy the sawmill, I can start making planks. It's about making some money. I need to get some money first, then I can get the few bits I need to get. So I have ordered a mobile sawmill, which should be... I was only talking about that in the last episode, wasn't I? About getting a real one for myself. Uh, is that one from here? I can't remember. I see something, isn't it? My way off. I can't remember where the point is. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, in this, I'm in the correct zone. Okay, right. So, what I should be able to do now is... Just before I buy a second trailer, before I do anything like that, because I want to get a skid steer loader, which may help, may not help. I might want to get a ramp. And, you know, there's a whole load of things I might want to do. But this is going to help massively. And the great thing with this, being that it's mobile, it is a cell point, so I can put this right up where the trees are, cut the trees down, and I mean, if I wanted to, I could just put this next to each section of the tree and just hit the cell thing, as far as I'm aware. Um, and it's one of those kind of great minds think alike moments, because a few people, in yesterday's episode where I was doing stuff, I was thinking, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to get one of those mobile sawmills, and that'd be brilliant. And then a few people messaged me and said, have you thought about getting the mobile sawmill? I thought, you know what? I absolutely had. Uh, so let's just turn that off for a minute. So we're going to take this back with us. We're going to go mobile. I don't know how it's going to pan out. And then what we can do is do a load of lumber where we are. That's floating about. I thought it would strap down. Now the only downside to this, I think, if I remember correctly, is that when you save the game, I'm pretty sure it will reset itself back here to the main store, I think. Unless I save it where I am. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Right, well, I'll get it down there. We'll have a look and see how this works. Because I can then just chuck a load of lumber through it, get the money up, then we'll get our skids load, then we can do longer logs, then we can then work towards all the other things we want to do. I think going backwards and forwards at the moment is not the best shout until I've got a bit more equipment. I mean, I had to initially, I had to, I had no money. Of course I had to go backwards and forwards. But if I can um, streamline the process to start, why wouldn't I? That kind of makes perfect sense, doesn't it? doesn't it? But the only downside being, obviously, that because this is a mobile sawmill, it is only, I'm just going to make money. It's not going to help with production chains or anything like that. But as it stands, for what I need it for, it's the perfect solution to the problem. I have disconnected the trailer. Let's, I don't know, let's see how this works out. So the trigger is behind the saw blade. You can see how many trees I've cut down already. Behind the saw blade. Let's uh, open the back up. Engine off. Grab that out the back. Now I suppose there are a couple of options here. I can put it down like not particularly level, is it? That'll do. Um, so what we can do is either take a tree down like we have been doing, get the maximum amount of tree we can, um, yeah, and then put stuff in front of it and sell it. Or I guess we could cut the tree into chunks which means we can do longer lengths and just move the sawmill over to it. That would work as well, wouldn't it? I don't see any... I haven't used this yet. It was that kind of, oh, I remember that's there. Like I said, a few people commented and said, oh, have you thought about it? And I thought, you know what? I absolutely have. Um, so let's give it a go. Uh, the end bits aren't usually worth very much at all, so it's worth getting rid of those. They don't often help. There we go. Um, let's try a small bit first of all. Something we can pick up. So what should happen? Here, so we plonk it down in front just there. I suppose about there. Go around behind the saw. That works. 
Um, so let's try a slightly larger bit. And it might be a case of each tree I cut down, cutting into sort of three, four chunks rather than loads of little ones. I mean, I don't know how it's going to pan out. But it's got, it's got to be a lot quicker doing this. Obviously not one log at a time. Um, so I guess what we'll do now, let's do a longer bit like that. I don't know how big the trigger, the, like the um, the placeable, the placement area is, you see. Um, a couple of people have said they have been cutting down the trees and pushing the logs into the sort of cell area, which makes sense. But I guess there's no reason at all why I couldn't just lift that up, put it down where I want it, and then... Now. Oh, that did most of the tree. Whoa, okay. This is still incredibly concerning, I'm not going to lie. How little the trees are. I mean, I know I've done some logging, and when I did some on um, Elm Creek when I first started out, and it was, you know, a full trailer load, I think it was one of these, wasn't it? It was about 13 grand, which when I just did a full trailer load and the pickup came to about nine, didn't it? Which means they're worth less here. I mean, maybe the trees aren't as tall, potentially. But that shift from FS19, where, the, where tree lumber prices could be pretty good, it obviously depends on the map. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just... It's, it's a bit of a shock when, you know... I was about to say when you're used to cutting down a tree and getting sort of three, four, five grand for a tree, and now you're getting just over a grand. That's a lot of trees you've got to cut down to make any headway. But I guess it is what it is. So we're up to 20 grand. When I hit 25, I can get the skid steer loader, but I'm going to need a front and like an attachment for it as well. If we go a little bit above that, then I can get a second trailer, and then we can use the skid steer loader, hopefully, to load stuff on. I mean, I could just keep doing this, but like I say, if I want to get lumber up at the sawmill, which I can then turn into planks, which would be the next step, so I need to earn 25 grand for the skid steer loader, and a little bit for the attachment, potentially a second trailer, which is, what was it, 3,800? And then 20, 20 grand or 25 grand for the sawmill. So we need to earn a bit of that. I mean, potentially, that's, four, that's 40 trees I've got to cut down just to get to that point. That is worrying. But I'm pretty sure it said on Jim's update that there's 11,000 trees in here. So I suppose what's 40 trees between friends? <laughs> right. Let's crack on, I guess. So cutting them up into chunks might not have made a difference. I suppose this is where I can test this. Um, if I just, just lop the end off. Well, not even that. I wonder if I can just do it... Why am I going to all the trouble of delimbing? I don't need to do that if I'm going to put them onto, um, onto a trailer. Let's see if I can just put it in front of this. Am I going to get the same money? Because it always used to be like, if you did the whole tree, you didn't always gain as much as if you cut it into eight or nine metre lengths. If you did eight or nine metre lengths, you could do pretty well out of it. Let's do that. 1,600, did the whole tree, which is pretty much what I earned just now for chopping the tree up into chunks. So why am I going to the trouble of chopping it all up into chunks? Or delimbing it, or spending all the time doing that, but it's still going to take some time. Anyway, um, so yeah. We've gone mobile, people. We have gone mobile. And this is just temporary, just to get the money to where I need to, to get a skid steel loader. Um, and then, like I say, we'll get all the stuff then going over to the North Sawmill to a point where we can then buy the North Sawmill. Then we can get planks being produced. Um, and it gives us a bit of an option then. We can either do planks up to the north, sell to the south, or use this to sell. Um, which, in all honesty, I'm getting about the same money for all of it. So... Let's just crack on, I guess. I'll see you in a bit when I'm a bit richer, I suppose. <laughs> it is kind of horrifying. I think what I might do as well, like I did on the other one, because I know there'll be people, you know, freaking out and there will be quite rightly um, when we have got enough money now the problem is well of course with too many trees and when the update comes I would imagine some of these will probably come back again 
um, because I'm doing this pre-update. I want to buy a plot of land out there that we can use for farming. So the, the land I'm doing here, that I'm cutting all the trees down, I'm going to replant. So what I intend to do is every tree I've cut down, I will at least put back the amount of trees I've cut down. So I'm, I'm going to be kind of replenishing the stocks, so to speak. I'm not a barbarian. I don't know why I did that. So, can we get to a point where I can buy the skid steel loader? I'm probably going to get that um, that grab that I've been using. The um, I know it's a little bit like the CSZ pack one. Um, why don't I get one one for that? And that was two trees disappeared then. Okay, now I'm really worried. Hmm. What? 596 for a whole tree? Are these just really short trees or something? <laughs> right, okay. <sighs> so, a bit of time has passed. It's now just gone half past two in the afternoon. Look at our money! I'll tell you what I did find. Further in, amongst my woodland, my patch of forest, there were some monsters. I mean, like, big, like, 35 footers. Did a few of those. Actually, that's a good point, actually. Actually, that's a good point, actually. Brilliant. Trees cut down. 34 so far. In this session... Oh, yeah. That was what I was going to say. My, um mobile sawmill just be wary uh i've i've had one disappear uh, i'll show you what i mean it's showing there that mobile would sell point because it'll reset back to there because that's kind of where i placed it i picked it up and i moved it and there was a tree stump and it clipped the tree stump and it did that thing you know, things when catapult into the air you know so i kind of looked up thinking like bales do it sometimes and it's going to land somewhere, and it didn't land. So, okay, that's a bit worry. Checked on the map, and it was showing as it's still here. So I saved the game, came out, came back in, and here it was. Brilliant. Took it back over, used it for a little bit longer, and did the same thing again. Came back, saved it, came out, came back. It's not here. So I've purchased a second one. I know. I'm just, I'm just throwing money away now. I'm balling. It doesn't matter. Look, 47 grand. Um, but what it does mean, yeah, so I'm just, um, I'm a bit wary. What I might be better off doing is leaving it where it is, rather than keep picking up and moving it to the trees, is bringing the trees to it. Um, now, which does mean, at 47 grand, we've probably got enough money to possibly do both the things I wanted to do, but I'm going to leave the sawmill for the time being. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the equipment first, because I'm not sure. I think this gives me the option to pick what it goes on that front loader telescope wheel loader oh no it doesn't go on a skid steer hmm that's a problem then so i don't i suppose i could buy a cheap tractor i'm just thinking what adapters did we have honestly can't remember if we've got any, hmm. Oh, that's throwing the cat amongst the pigeons. Uh, okay, maybe I can't do that yet. Unless I just do it, say, properly. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe I should, you know what? Because I want to get that. Ooh, that's a bit. Do I want it tracked for what I'm doing? Oh, go with that, couldn't we? Wheels or tracks? Tracks has 20 grand on. Nah, let's see if it will. I'm happy with wheels, that's fine. Uh, clean windows, we'll leave it clean. Without beacon, with beacon. We'll go with beacon, just in case. Uh, rim colour. Actually, I'll leave it like that. It? Licence plate, none. Is this a good idea? Hmm. 
we could lease it rather than buying it, couldn't we? At least give it a go. And then use that to build up the money to then maybe get a telehandler. How much is it to lease? Yeah, you know what? Let's lease it. Um, if I go down to wheel loaders, where are we? Wheel loaders. We've got the, not wheel loaders, we're talking about skidsy loaders. We've got the manure fork. See, I prefer using a manure fork to a log fork, but that said, there's not a lot of difference in them. I think we'll use the log fork. Uh, main colour? Let's go with red so we can see it. Let's do that. We'll lease that as well. And then what we'll also do, just to make it easier for getting it back, I mean, I could just drive it back as it is, but again, where's the fun in that? Um, yeah, my trailer should be coming. How much is it to lease that? 408. Yeah, I can cut down a tree and it'll cover the lease cost of all of that. So, yeah, leasing it is probably not a bad idea to start off with. We'll cut down a few more trees. I'll load up the trailer. Oh, that's something I suppose we could do, couldn't we? I could buy the second trailer, but I think what we'll do is we'll do one first. I'm curious to see how well this grab will grab some of the larger logs. It does mean we can chop our trees into slightly larger chunks. And like I say, I don't know without a rear weight on this as well, how it's going to fare. I mean, that's All we can do again another reason why leasing is probably not a bad idea because if it turns out it isn't going to be as good as I thought it was going to be that's interesting Ooh. Okay, so let's move. Oh, straps. Ah, oh, so as soon as I strap it down, it does that. It just adds a load of a load of weight to it. Maybe I'm going to be better off. I'll leave it without straps on. So even if just using the mobile sawmill for the time being, I mean, just to get me to where I am now, I mean, that took, what, an hour and a bit? Just under an hour, was it? What time I come in? What time was I started using it? That's enabled me, without coming backwards and forwards and loading up the trailer and loading up the, uh, the back of the pickup, to get to a point where I could buy this, or at least lease it. I mean, I suppose I could have cut down a tree and just leased it before. My, my initial plan was to buy, but I guess it makes sense to give it a go first because if it's, if it's not what I'm hoping for, then I can just go a bit longer, maybe doing it with the mobile sawmill and then buy a telehandler instead. So yeah, that might not be a bad idea, but it gives us options anyway. The other thing I probably want to do fairly soon is stick a bridge in. Because I've either got to go left of the abandoned farm and then all the way along, or all the way out to the right where the tree's down and come all the way back again. Uh, so I'm thinking of either directly here as we come down, or if we go across at an angle, pretty much opposite where our... Well, no, we don't have the land, do we? I don't suppose it will let me put a bridge in. I can always try. I know the... Um, my FS19, is it the Sandhill modding ones? Allowed you to. Oh, can we go? All we can do is try. So I'm going to cut down a tree. I'll chop it into longer lengths. I, I want to get to a point where I can get a scorpion king or something like that, so then I can regulate my my cut lengths. I know with the field info screen open, it does tell you once you've done the cut what the length of the log is, which is great. But I know on PC there's a measuring tool, isn't there? I'm sure there's a measuring tool. Um, we could do with something like that, couldn't we? I mean, I, I generally speaking, would whatever length I wanted, I would cut myself a measuring stick and use that. I, mean, I could just go through the water. I don't think it's going to let me. I'm, let me see if we've got any available. Uh, under decoration, under others. Yeah, in fact, 
Um, what ones have we got? Well, these ones are pretty cool. Yeah, land is not owned. Um, what about, yeah, same thing, land's not owned, so I'd have to buy the plot opposite to be able to do that. I suppose the other thing I could do is just, oh, I could, couldn't I? I could just fill it with logs. If I put logs in it, mind you, would they move around? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'll go to the end. Right, I've seen a bit. I'll cut the tree down. Let's have a go with this and see if we can lift some logs onto the trailer. just gives me a few more options and like I say if not then I'll just carry on with the mobile sawmill the, our travel sawmill Ooh. that really is moving around a lot right then I have cut a tree down uh, I've cut one section I don't know how long it is uh, which is a good point well, let's check 5.2 meters mm, I could probably go on a bit longer Okay, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? Can this lift it though? That's the question. And then what we'll do is I can put stuff onto the trailer and in the back of the pickup to fill that up. And like I said, I can still, I can still use the mobile sawmill. The great thing is if I do buy one of these as well, I can get um, a stump grinder. So we can go around and we can start grinding all the stumps out as we go. I mean, I could clear this and we could clear a bit of land as well to start doing something. I'm thinking as well, we could, rather than we could do some greenhouses. That would earn us some money as well, wouldn't it? I'm thinking maybe the Omatana ones. I haven't used those, the open greenhouse ones, because you can do sunflowers and potatoes with those as well, which could get us some crops on the go too. That's not a bad idea. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? Yeah, I could have probably done with going a little bit longer. It's hard to tell, but... Don't know how it's going to be on some of the monster trees, but that's picked up no problem. I'm not having any tipping issues. I think the tub is much longer or much thicker, and it might be. Um, weirdly, when I pick the logs up by hand, the um, supports on the trailer, actually, maybe I'm about right for this, seem to not exist. Actually, it's worth to try, because if I can push it through. Oh, isn't that weird? I wonder why if I do it myself, it's fine. And we can, we have got the reach to go over that as well. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm happy with that. Push that right over against the end. Yeah, I could probably do it going to make it longer, maybe sixes. But I could probably get away with, uh, I could get away with eights. I don't see re any reason why not. They would overhang front and rear quite a bit. I suppose what I need to do now. So some of these trees, if I aim to cut the, some of these into thirds, maybe. Let's try that and see what that cut length says. 6.3, well, not quite. I, I could have sworn that would have been longer. So I'm, I'm cutting about the same each time. Anyway. Mind you, this is another one of those jobs like stacking logs, and I could do it all day. I did just not a problem. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, so I think, I mean, as a test, it's a win. Happy with that. We can load this right up with longer logs up to the north mill. So we can buy the north sawmill if we wanted to. We can get some pallets going. Um, what I might do is just put this on as is and then just chop the end off of it. Then I can still stick some through the... Um, Static mill. I suppose I could do this. There's no reason at all why I couldn't just do this. And um, just pile a load of logs up in front of the static one and set them all in one go. I suppose we could do that. I'm going to do this on the other way around. And if I cut some to the length of the trailer bed, uh, the, the pickup bed, I can then put them in. Quite over to do this one. No problem with that is having the reach to go with that, because we are at a maximum right there. Can I put the shell? 
Can I reach that? So I've still got one in between that. And then just do that. And then what I can do, oh that's how the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant the offcuts. Any offcuts, just chuck them in front of there, don't move, and boom. That's brilliant. Offcuts can just go in front of the mobile one and we'll rock and roll from there. Okay, so as I've done before, I'm going to use this. Uh, I, might, I might still cut down a couple of the other ones and we'll put some logs in front of here as well. So what I'll aim to do between now and when I next see you, I'm going to fill that up. I'm going to fill that up. Because the great thing as well, what I can do, I can do lengths, maybe open the back and do a little bit longer. But if not, from there to there, until I get to the cab height, and then I can do longer ones that extend over the cab, maybe. I say some, I mean it might be one that extends over the top. But it does give me a few more options now. This will make all the difference. Yeah, I'm going to buy one. I'm definitely going to buy one with the grab, and I'll get a stump grinder too, and then we can crack on. But I might as well use it for at least an hour anyway. I've got some work to do. It's 3.30. i tell you what. Oh, where have you been all my life? It struggled with... I mean, I've got some monster logs on here. Look at these things, look. It struggled. I had to cut those fairly short, and I'm sure I've ruined the suspension on the pickup. I keep saying that, but it kind of carries on. So look at that. Couldn't have done that by hand. Um, and I've got a whole load here. I would say mobile travel sawmill for the win. Let's see what we we'll get from that. That will do. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take this up to the main sawmill. I am going to buy one of these and one of those, and I'm going to buy a stump grinder. The trailer can go back. We'll get those returned. I'm going to take these, this up. We'll get rid of that. See what we get for all these. I mean, like I say, some of these are absolute beasts. But it just goes to show, with a bit of work, and I think having the travel sawmill here, and then getting to a point... Again, it's, that, it's a small tipping point. It's a little victory, you know, to be able to get that. I suppose the next step, like I said, I don't know if the pickup will pull it, but to get another one of these trailers and hook them in tandem so I can have two of them, load them up with logs like this and I can transport quite a bit more. It didn't take me particularly long with the skids, as you can set tell by the time. Um, did I leave the engine running on the skid steer? I thought it was an exhaust that might have been from the, uh, no, might have been from the pickup that thing yeah I mean just amazing it's made all the difference and with the skid still over I'll be able to get a stump grind now again I can then build up and I can get a telehander and I and I was going to get that that grab that's got those sort of straps on it but it's working absolutely fine as it is I'm, I'm quite happy the time it's taking for what I'm getting done bearing in mind we were on what were we on when we started was it three four grand we went up to 54 you know yes it's taking time and off camera it'd be one of those things if I start the next episode I'm on 100 grand and then I, it's happened before and people say oh it's ridiculous he's, he's cheating I'm, I'm cutting down lumber and I'm selling it at a sawmill that, that's that's an in-game process that's something that's there I'm not I'm taking the time to do it I haven't started with a scorpion king I haven't started you know I'm starting with a chainsaw which is what I did and moving stuff by hand and I'm gradually building up I'm going to go cross country again. Um, I'm just curious to see what we'll get for this load. God, I don't know. Yeah, it will pick up. I don't want to be going 62 miles an hour across the ground. Obviously, I'm thinking two of these trailers. It might work. Now, a couple of things. Um, Peter has mentioned. Uh, Peter works for the forestry department, is that what it's called? Forest, I'm not sure what the US designations for these are. Um, about what I'm doing, they want to offer me, not a contract, no contracts, remember, no contracts. No capes, no contracts. Um, to thin out some of the, the, the area. So it'll be a case of going through and where trees are marked, I know they won't actually be marked, but doing a bit of thinning, a bit of forestry management, so they might pay me to do that, uh, which might be quite cool. I can go out and do a bit of thinning for them. 
and um, that'll be a case of probably getting access to the land almost like a lease access to the land do a bit of thinning and then the land gets given back kind of thing so potentially we could do that um, and I've also been asked about the possibility of clearing the abandoned farm um, a situation whereby I would be responsible for getting rid of the rubbish, clearing the pens, probably knocking the house down I guess, the barn and stuff like that. Any money I make from that could be mine if I want to do that as well. So we got we got some options. You know, I've got a few things coming in, a few irons in the fire. We'll see, you know. I know for the start it, it's logging, you know, but then Homokra was as well. Homokra was a I loved that let's play and a lot of people viewing it really, really enjoyed it as well. Um, and that was all logging to start. And this is, I guess, slightly... I mean, this is different. It's definitely different. I'm using different equipment, obviously. And we've got the production chains and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm definitely along the lines of let's get um, some greenhouses. No, not that turn. I think I'm going to get some greenhouses. Or the open gardens, I think. Because that will give us the ability to do lettuce, tomatoes, or strawberries, or potatoes, or sunflower. Um, which I think could be a bit of a boon so yeah I think we'll probably give that a go um, we'll sell this if I've got enough I'm thinking start of the next episode I might buy the sawmill up here might right I don't this log's going to fall off um, straps off straps off nope we're all right what are we going to earn? What are we going to earn? Boom. Oh! Dude! 16,700. That's a little bit better than, what was it? Eight grand, I think, I had for one of those. So, I think what we'll do, we'll whiz round. I need to uh, do that. Let's close the back up. Hard work, determination, grit, spit, and plenty of duct tape. That's the best way to be. And cable ties, of course, you can fix anything. Duct tape, cable ties, if it needs more than that, it's definitely broken. So, why will, I will finish then with, I am going to buy a version of that. Uh, and then I want to get a stump grinder. Again, we'll get that in red so we can see it nice and easily. Let's buy that. And then back out of there, up to forestry equipment, and we're going to buy another one of those. We were going to have it on Vredersteins, which we're on the moment. That's exactly what we've got already. Let's buy that for 3,800. We've increased our fleet from a pickup and a small trailer, two timber trailers, skid still loader, Stump grinder, bucket, living the dream. <laughs> so, I've got more work to do now. Of course I have. I'm going to fill both of these up. Um, I'll put a lo So what I'm going to do is put the long logs and stuff onto these. The bigger, chunky ones, I either put them onto the mobile cell point. And as I did with the last one, the thinner ends and stuff that aren't going to make me as much money, I can put those down. Oh, hang on, that went a little bit tight than I was hoping it would. I'm off. I'm off by a country mile. Come on. Come on. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. There we go. Boom. So, let's take both those back. I'll come back for the skids to load later on. Um, what time is it now? 20 to 4. Well, I'll be able to get some more done before it gets dark. Potentially. And then, like I say, next episode, I think... What I will do next episode, I will bring a full load up on the pickup and the two trailers, if the pickup will pull it. I don't see why it won't. Once I can get it rolling, we might be okay. Then I can get some pallets uh, of planks being made, because the planks will make us some money as well. I don't know what they're worth, I don't want really to go for at the moment. But at least we'll have a production chain on the go, we can get some pallets made. Plus I will still have the mobile sawmill cell point, and I will have the southern cell point if I just want to do lumber. 
Um, if I just want to get paid for my lumber, I can do that. But I, otherwise, I can bring stuff up to the northern sawmill and we can get some production chains. And then, like I said, um, what I might do if I can get enough money, buy a plot directly opposite where we are so I can stick a bridge in, maybe. Um, also, I guess the next thing to do is if we can earn a bit of money and I'm cutting down trees, why don't I build myself a cabin? So I'm not in a tent all the time. That might be quite nice. So we'll gradually work our way up. Um, yeah, we'll clear a bit of that. I don't think we'll clear all the trees, but we can certainly clear some of the buildings. And potentially if we start moving from forestry into farming, we could maybe have that as the farm. I don't know whether to leave that as, an, as the abandoned farm. I mean, maybe we could have that as a kind of centralised point for some, some economic boost, maybe some production chains or almost like a little industrial estate kind of thing. I don't know. Again, all these ideas bubbling in my head. It's brilliant. Loving it. So, another one down. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.